So concealer, what is your numero uno tool for concealer application? Lay it on me. I love this brush from Urban Decay. Okay. I like it because it's ultra soft, there's nylon fibers, which you want when using a concealer. Why? Um, because it's a creamy texture. Um, I think that the nylon brushes, they grab onto the product okay. better, and um, they don't absorb into a brush that maybe something that has natural okay. hairs. That makes okay. sense. And it's a little bit more dense too, so you can really grab the product and apply it. That makes a ton of sense. So you're gonna dip your brush directly into your concealer uh -huh. pot, and then you can take a little bit of the excess off on your hand, okay. and then apply it directly onto your eye. Okay. And I like to start in the inner corner of the eyes. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like this V shape here. Right. Which is where you're usually your darkest. Exactly, that's where you're di always the darkest. Mm -hmm. And then if you're, if you're dark up in here, you can blend it up. Okay. And then, so you go in with the brush and then you sort of blend with your finger. Exactly. Got it. Okay, cool. And you can do that around the nose. Absolutely. You can, you can kind of brush it around the nose like this, like kind of, almost like you're drawing a Christmas tree. <laughs> right in that area there, right around kind of the nose. You can tap on a little bit on your chin, wherever you want a little bit more coverage. Okay. But then let's say you have like a little scar or acne, then what do you do? Because it's not, it's different than this, yeah? Or, right. So if you have like say a pimple or you mm -hmm. know, scar or you want to spot conceal, uh -huh. I love this brush from Kevin Aquan. Um, it's a con their concealer brush, but it's extremely tiny. I see. So you can literally just dip into your concealer. Okay. Again, I like to tap on so you're not applying too much product. Okay. And uh, she doesn't have it. She anything, doesn't but have it. Let's anything. pretend. Let's pretend. So right here, Matara is like a little bit broken blood vessel right okay. here. It's like a little dot. So I'm gonna take my brush and I'm literally going to just. And so this is really like painting and almost filling in. That's right. And you're gonna just dot it on and then just tap it with your finger. And you're tapping straight onto it with your finger versus like a blending motion. Exactly. Tap, not a exactly. So I'm just going to show you, even on one of her freckles, just to show you, I'm just going to tap it right on mm -hmm. her freckles, which I would never normally cover. <laughs> and I'm just with my pinky, just to keep it super small, I'm just going to tap okay. it. And if your acne is really bad, then you could go over it with the powder. So what would you, how would you apply a powder in general? In general, uh, I would apply a powder. I like to use an angled brush. Why? I will show you why. Okay. Um, so I'm going to dip into the powder. Mm -hmm. And the reason why I like the angled brush is because I feel like I could get into the crevices. Because oh, uh -huh. the point of the brush. Yeah, I see it. So I think a lot of people think, you know, use an angled brush for contouring. I mean, that's the classic old school way of thinking of a contoured fluffy brush. Mm -hmm. um, I love this brush from It Cosmetics because it's super soft also, which that's a huge thing for me, s soft brushes, because you can get the finest application of product. But again, you see how I can just roll it under yeah. the eyes? Uh -huh. And that's really an important place where you kind of want to set your concealer. Um, if you tend to get oily there, and then you can just go around. And this brush is, is also amazing for blush. And, and if you want to like keep things a little natural, you could just hit your T-zone and right. possibly like not your cheeks or something oh, like that. For but, sure. Okay. I, generally speaking, I almost never do the cheek area. Okay. I just do the T-zone okay. because I love a glowing skin. That's one of my favorite things. Who doesn't? Looks really pretty. Um, okay, and so let's say you have over applied your foundation and you're feeling cakey and masky. Is there some way to take it down without starting all over again? Well, a way to kind of freshen up your skin throughout the day. Okay. If you feel like your makeup has settled, you know, you're at work and say you want to go from work to a party mm -hmm. or you're at work and you have to go to a lunch meeting and you want to kind of just lift your skin and pick it up and, and get reactivate. rid of any build up. That's right. Anything yeah. that's settled, if you want to just reactivate your skin. I love, love, this is one of my favorites, this Beauty Elixir from Caudalie. Mm -hmm. 
So again, if you're feeling too mad or too cakey, I love this. It smells, it smells so incredible. good. Uh, so the, nice. the smell alone will make you happy and feel fresh, but does it close your eyes, Matar? Mm. Nice, right? So you can give yourself a generous spray, okay. and then you can take either your fingers or a beauty blender and just press it in okay. to your foundation, and all of a sudden, it's like a fresh foundation. Okay, great. So now we're on to the last of Romy's top pick favorite tools. So um, what do you do when you're feeling a little oily but you don't wanna put more powder on because you're already all made up? Uh, one of my favorite tools is this, uh, these Japanese beauty papers from Tatcha. They're, they're blotting papers. Mm -hmm. I think that if you over apply powder, it can get very cakey. It's, I don't like the look of that. I think it doesn't feel natural and fresh. Yeah. This is something great that you can keep in your purse. It's something great that I use all the time on set um, because I don't want uh, the skin to look heavy or cakey. Uh -huh. I want to keep the freshness. So I'm just going to, you just apply it all around the kind of especially around the T-zone area, so around your nose, okay. on your chin, on your forehead, and all the shine kind of magically I just see. disappears into the sheet. And the great thing about this one is that it's it's so fine, It's it's this is really just removing the oil from your face. Okay, great. Well, thanks for talking tools, ladies. This was super insightful and educational. These are game changers. <laughs> they are. <laughs>